Anthony, back YouTube video. As you can tell by the title, um, once again, talk about Battlefield. Now, there's this thing on Twitter, there's like an article going around. Well, you know, I want to say an article, but like people tweeting about what should I say. So apparently, apparently, according to uh, the people who made Battlefield 2042, the reason why they are doing so badly is because, um, because of Halo Infinite. What's that all about? You know what I mean? So, basically, what EA is saying is, the reason why there's not so many people on Battlefield at this moment in time, or the game's dying, should I say, is because of all, because of Halo Infinite. What a load of rubbish. It's like, they can't admit, they can't admit that they released the game very buggy, very broken, lack of content, and lack of communication. They won't admit that. They will not admit that. They'll have to. They always have to put the blame on Summit or someone else. And the the, the blamed Halo Infinite. Yes. And do you, do you want to know the difference between Halo Infinite and Battlefield Twenty Forty Two? Halo Infinite actually launched bug free, more or less. It was it was it launched with um plenty of multiplayer maps. Uh, the multiplayer wasn't buggy. It, it was it was smooth. And Battlefield Twenty Forty Two launched with hundreds of bugs. Um, lack of maps, lack of guns, lack, lack of everything. You know, I mean, I love Battlefield 2042. I actually like the game. But when you launch a game with so many bugs, so lack of content, and so many things wrong, you're just asking for trouble. You're asking for it. You really are. I mean, the signature that's going around now um, to refund Battlefield 2042, it's at 200,000. And it's getting high. It's probably on 220,000 now, actually. Last time I checked was last night, uh, I think it was. It uh, probably on between a uh, bit between twenty two uh, thousand and ten and two hundred twenty thousand now, easy. And Tony's just gonna keep going on up and up, up and up. What I think they should do actually, well, what's gonna end up happening, uh, eventually, probably sometime this year, Battlefield twenty forty two is gonna go free to play. That's how bad it's getting now. It's getting bad. It's getting really bad. Um, I think the player count. I I, I saw something on Twitter. There's more people playing Battlefield four now. Um, that well, I wouldn't say more people, but not far behind. There's more people playing Battlefield Four than Battlefield Twenty Forty Two. Um, I think the twenty four hour peak for Battlefield Twenty Forty Two was four thousand. Four thousand. That's bad, considering the game came out only a few months ago. So it's it's just it's just a mess, and let's be honest, it's the fact that they're blaming Halo Infinite. You know what I mean? It's they're not they're not admitting. That they did things wrong. They're just like blaming it on other stuff, which is very, very frustrating. I mean, look at Call of Duty. They said they're f they're fucked up when they launched the new Warzone map. They admitted it. They must they messed up. You know what I mean? They admit that the game released broken. A year in Battlefield won't. You know, it's just they need to listen. They need to listen to us a bit more. Listen to us. Where 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 are the people that play it? You know what I mean? But. I mean the fact that we have to the fact that we have to wait until the summer. So you're probably talking now four months from now. Four months without any new content whatsoever. The game came out on November the nineteenth. Right? That's where four months for new for new content. I don't know guys. It's just I could go on and on. I could rant on and on and on and on and on, but I don't know. It's 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 frustrating. It really is. I mean, Battlefield 2042 had so much potential, so much potential, and they just messed it up. They didn't learn, they didn't learn the lesson from Battlefield 5, launched, the game launched with lack of content, it was buggy, it was messy, it was just, and, and they haven't learned the lesson one single bit, not one bit. Call of Duty learned the lesson, they've added 16 maps as soon as the game came out. You know what I mean? Six, so it can be done, it can be done. You know what I mean? But it is what it is, guys. I mean, by the give it by the summer, there'd be barely anybody playing Battlefield 2042. The numbers are going down, you know, uh, every day. So it is what it is. You know, I mean, I, I'm, I'm, I'm going to say, I feel like I want to say there is some hope, Um, you know, but there isn't really, there's none yet, you know, regarding Battlefield. It's just all negativity at the moment, which is horrible to see. So, like I've just said at the start of the video, I actually like the I actually like I actually like the game, but the reason why I'm not playing it 
what the, what's the purpose? Like, what, what's the purpose of playing it when there's nothing to aim for? You know what I mean? There's, there's no purpose whatsoever. I mean, there was no battle pass. Um, You know, there's nothing to aim for. And these weekly challenges, the challenge rewards are absolutely dreadful. Last week, it had uh, that angel guy, an angel, an angel face and an angel beard as a reward. It's taking the piss. Let's be honest, it is, isn't it? But, but so, like I said, it's, yeah, it's, it's frustrating. So thank you for watching, guys. If you like the video, please give the video a like. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. I'm not going to lie, I feel a lot better now having that rant. I wanted to have that rant for ages. Ages. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.